Uh, hi everyone and welcome to um, the third video in my series of um, Alesis SR18 drum machine videos basically showing you how to program your own patterns and uh, in this video to put your patterns together to make up a song of which this machine is very well designed for it's got 99 song slots so you can piece together 99 songs um, I think that's more than enough to cater for for most bands okay so we've got our our patterns a and b verse and chorus and we've got our um, fills uh, on a and b all recorded one little tip I have for you just before you put your patterns together you need to record uh, an intro an intro pattern um, so that's your you're counting for your song so everybody knows in the band when to start or even yourself as a solo artist you need to know when to start your song so I have a basic on zero zero uh, pattern I have what's called four beats so that's basically four hi-hats counting for the start of the song and I have that on every single song so that gives me four beats counting and then I start the song Okay, so now we're ready to write our song. We've done our pattern intro and we've done our verse and our chorus and our drum fills all ready to put together as a song. So I've gone to number 60. It's an empty song. I've set the tempo as I showed you before. So just hold down the tap tempo, turn the value wheel. We want it at 120. Now we're ready to go. So the first thing we do is we press uh, record enter. And it comes up step zero zero end all right so now you're ready to go so what we want to do first of all is put our our uh, four beat intro on first so we all know when to come in at the right time so we press zero zero because i know that's on pattern zero zero um okay so then that's on step zero zero that's your first step it might you might think it starts on one but it starts on zero zero then with page up and down we want to go to the next step so we pet that up, so we're on step one. So uh, I want to then start the song with uh, my verse. So that was on 90A. Sometimes if you have a lot of patterns written to put together in a song, it's a good idea to write them down on a piece of paper because you can start to forget what patterns you want to put together as a song. Anyway, I know that pattern 90A and B and 90A fill and B fill are the patterns that I want to use. So I go to 90, 9, 0, okay, so that's my verse, there's 8, remember that I recorded this in 8 beats, so I want to have 90, I want to have 4 bars in my verse, okay, so let's go, that's the first one, and we'll go to pattern 2, and we'll put 90 in again, 90A, okay, pattern 3, 90a pattern 4 90a okay so I could, now you can go back in your pages all right you can go back to the start of your song so it started off the first step was your intro pattern 00, zero. that's your four beats hi-hat then reverse starts so that's 90a step 1 90a step 2 90a step 3 90a step 4 and if I press the page again it comes up end because that's the end of the song. You haven't put any, I haven't put any more than those four bars in. Okay. So now I want to put my fill because I want to keep the song short. So what I've done is I've put four um, four bars in. Okay. So four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. So actually, I want the fourth one to be ninety A fill. I want that to be a drum fill. I don't want that just to be the verse. So you just edit that so we go to four I want to change it so you just put 90 a and then fill so number step four is 90 a fill okay just to go back again so three is 90 a two is 90 a one is 90 a and then your four beat intro so four beat intro one bar a verse two bars three bars and then the fourth one is the fill and then step five okay now we can put in our chorus so that was 90 b okay 
and I want four bars of a chorus. So I'm going to put in step five, step six, let's punch it in, step seven, and then step eight, I want that to be the drum fill at the end of the chorus. So I go 90, B, fill. Okay. So that's, and if I go back to the start, so just move this, the, the page buttons up and down so you see where you are. So at the very beginning, starting at the beginning, zero, zero is my intro. Then one, two, and three is 90A. That's the first three bars of the verse. The fourth bar of the verse is the fill going into the chorus. Then I've got 90B as the first bar of my chorus. The next bar six, the next bar seven. So that's three bars of the chorus. And then the fourth bar of the chorus is my 90B fill. Keeping everything simple. So four bars in the verse, four bars in the chorus. But the last bar of each verse and chorus, I've put my drum fill. Now you can do whatever you want. You can make them five bars, six bars. You can, you know, that's up to you. I'm just keeping this very simple. Okay, and then we'll go back to, let's just keep it at that, okay? Just keep it short and sweet. So four bars of a verse, four bars of a chorus, a drum fill at the end of the verse, and a drum fill at the end of the chorus, okay? So if I press the page up one more time, it says step nine, end. That's the end of the song. Put any more patterns in. So my patterns go as far as step eight. Uh, I'm keeping it very short and sweet just for this video for demonstration. So now... I want to save the song. I don't want anything more to it. I've got my, I've got my, I'll just hold it to the start. I've got my, my four beat intro. I've got my verse with it, the fill at the end of it. I've got my chorus with a fill at the end of it. And then that's the end of the song for me. Okay, so now what we do is we press pattern song to come out of record mode, out of step mode, okay? So press that. Now you want to save it, okay? So you press and hold save copy and it comes to save song to pattern to song 60. Press record, enter, and that's it. So that's my song now. Let's just see if it works. <laughs> And there you go. Now, that's a very, very simple demonstration. Um, it's just four bars of a verse and four bars of a chorus, but it gives you some idea of how you piece it together. Now, a couple of little things. As always, make sure that you name your song as well. Again, it says no name because I've not put a name on it. Um, and very easy to do that. So what we do when it's in song mode, it's in the number that you want. You just press record setup case it's actually on it's ready to put the name in okay so you just write it the same as you do anywhere else you use the value key to change the values and you use the arrow buttons here to move the cursor to write the name of the song okay and then you come out of that press record setup and always save copy record enter save done okay and that's it saved now there are a few other things um, little tips and little mo bit more advanced um, points to note when you're writing some patterns and when you're putting together songs to be a little bit more extravagant. Um, I will show those in a later video. It's just too much to cover with this, um, what I've done in this video and more advanced features. So I'll do another video on those, which will just tighten things up a little bit more, allow you to allow you to be a little bit more versatile in your in your song making and your pattern writing but basically that's that's the, the pattern bit is or the, the the song putting the song together is the easy bit it's actually writing all the patterns that takes the time putting the drums in and then working out if you've got a complicated song that maybe you might require 
maybe four or five patterns, six patterns, maybe four or five different drum fills. Uh, maybe there's a bridge in the middle of it that has a completely different uh, slow rhythm or the, all those sorts of things. That's where it takes time to put together all those patterns. And then when you've got the hard work done, the actual easy bit is putting them together as a song. So basically, again, just to recap, you just press song into song mode. You press record enter and you just build it up in steps. Okay, step zero, zero, then step one, put in your pattern that you want for step one and your pattern in for step two and three and four and so on. And then you can have another chorus or a longer chorus. You can have a bridge. You can you can do whatever you want, whatever you want. There's a huge memory inside in this. Um, I mean, I at the moment have what nearly, um, nearly 90 patterns, A and B and drum fills for every single one of those written and about a playlist of 45 songs. And I still loads of memory. In fact, I'll probably run out of slots for patterns before I'll run out of memory. So that's kind of where it goes. Um, and that's it. And always remember, whenever you're, in, whenever you're in step mode, you've got to come out of it to save it. Okay, so if, when you're in step mode and you're, and you're recording, you're in step mode and you're piece, piecing together your patterns in song, in a song, you, if you were to press save copy now, it says insert. Okay, now that's not saving your song. That's actually inserting a pattern into another part of the song, which I'll cover in another video. So always make sure that when you've put your steps together, um, you press pattern song and come out of step mode. Okay, back to song, then press and hold copy, save and press down enter. And then that saves it. Okay. Anyway, um, there's still a bit more to cover in this. That's just the basic putting together a song um, now that you've written your patterns. In the next video, I'll cover some more advanced features um, and little tips and hints of how to tighten things up a bit. Um, things I've just kind of figured out myself as I was playing along with it. Okay, everyone, that, that's about it for this video. Um, as I say, I will cover more of the advanced features in another video, but uh, this is basically how to put uh, a very simple song together. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just quickly demo uh, one of the songs that we do in our band using this um, Alisa SR18 and just show you really what it can do. Um, just a short little jam, really. Okay, enjoy. Well, hope you do.